Portimao, the venue for race two of the FIA World Endurance Championship. The eight hours of Portimao at the circuit on the Algarve that is a rock and rolling roller coaster. From the first ever French pole position, the Alpine led the field away. The top hypercar in qualifying, the top three cars on the grid were hypercars with the 28 Jota car leading the LMP2 field. But around the outside, out of turn one came the racing team Nederland car to take the lead in LMP2. Tom Blomquist in the 28 Jota car then trying to cut back inside into turn three, but his teammate had already gone for the gap and the two Jota cars made contact. Blomquist, the LMP2 pole sitter, rejoined last. Porsche's qualifying pace evaporated on race day. Ferrari got in front very early on. The first and only really major incident Ryan Briscoe misjudging the width of the Glickenhaus, clattering the D-Station Aston Martin, which hits the 77 Dempsey Proton Porsche, which nearly took the United Autosport car out of the race, but missed it. The two GT cars would end up out of the race early on. Chetelar were right in the hunt at the front of the GTE AM category from the early going, but the end of an effective charge for the podium for Racing Team Nederland when Jot van Eytert made contact with a GT uh, a Ferrari, didn't do any damage to the Ferrari. High class in front in the Pro-Am class as a result of that Racing Team Nederland failure. Safety car, the only one of the race brought out as Miro Konopka spun off and that allowed uh, the uh, Porsches to get a lap back on the Ferraris. Also allowed the Alpine to close right back up and rejoin battle with Toyota with a couple of hours left. But Toyota all would always have a fuel advantage. United kept Jota honest. They finished in third place. The 28 Jota Sport car in second place as Antonio Felix da Costa took the lead late in the race. Uh, the Alpine continued to push the Toyotas right to the closing stages. High Class lost their win in Pro-Am as the car ground to a halt, bringing out a full course yellow in the closing stages. And the Pro-Am win went to Real Team Racing, who inherited that position. Antonio Fuoco brought Chetelar's Ferrari to the line to win in GTE Am. GTE Pro a Ferrari 1-2, 51 ahead of 52. And the final five minutes sort out, saw 38 take the lead in LMP2 from sister car. 28, Jota went 1-2. Toyota 1-2 at the end. The number eight car winning the company's 100th World Championship Endurance Motor Race ahead of the sister number seven. And they take a substantial championship advantage away from Portimao. It was a tough race. Obviously, uh, we had a bit of a different strategy to car seven. We saved, uh, we saved a lot more a lot more fuel and I was able to uh, avoid the splash. However, they got really lucky with the full course yellow. Mm. So, uh, yeah, they were coming strong. And then we have some, uh, you know, internal rules. Obviously, it ended up in our favor, so I'm really happy. But I, I had big pain in the end. I had a big cramp on my front arm, so it was not easy. So I'm really happy. Well, that's it for a month. We will head to the Autodromo Nazionale di Monza, Italy's Temple of Speed for round three of the FIA World Endurance Championship next time out. We will be back in Monza in July.